Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Tonight's lesson is division using the standard algorithm, lesson one. And I put here, it's not in SWAN. This actually isn't something we normally learn in fifth grade, but some of you, I feel like, will understand this better than the area model, and it'll be your choice if you want to continue to use the area model, or if this one makes more sense to you, you can use this one. In sixth grade, this is what you will learn. Okay, so our goal is we're gonna divide using the standard algorithm. The standard algorithm is usually what most adults use. This is not better than the area model, it's just a different way. Okay, so our vocab today, first of all, I'm gonna add my division sign. Our vocab is just to remember that we understand all the words with division. So remember the answer for division is quotient. The number I'm dividing is called my dividend. So dividend, and sometimes it'll look, be set up different, so dividend. And then the number I'm dividing it by is called my divisor. So the two is my divisor. It's just really important that we master those three words, okay? All right, now my notes today is a little bit weird. It's D-M-S. B. What we refer to this as daddy, mommy, sister, brother. Okay, this is just a little trick uh, to help you remember how to follow the algorithm. So, daddy, mommy, sister, brother, they stand for four different things. So, the D stands for daddy, and what it means is division. The M, you could probably now maybe see the pattern here, is going to stand for mommy which means multiplication. The S stands for sister, which means subtraction. And the B stands for bring down, which we're gonna use an arrow. So daddy, mommy, sister, brother, you'll hear us say it again and again. Daddy, mommy, sister, brother, helps so you remember that when you use the algorithm, you follow this thing. Divide, then you multiply, then you subtract, then you bring down. Okay, so our steps are a lot this time. Um, remember, these are just for you to follow until you get the hang of it. So first it says to set up the problem. When you're going to use the algorithm, we set it up using this. Now some people, notice I'm gonna write this in red because I don't want you to write it. Some people do this. That's incorrect. That's, that is a mathematical symbol, but it's not for division. It means something different. So make sure you don't use that. Okay, that looks cute and fancy, but it's the wrong symbol. So we're not going to use that one. Okay, so we're gonna set up our problem first. When you set up the problem, you need to make sure that the dividend is inside and the divisor is outside. Okay, so we're gonna put the dividend inside and the divisor outside. Okay, next, we're gonna write daddy, mommy, sister, brother. We're going to put that next to each problem just to kind of keep track of what we're doing. Kind of like when we did order of operations, we wrote PEMDAS just as our little help check it list. We're gonna do the same with this. So we're gonna write daddy, mommy, sister, brother on top of our problem. Okay, then we're actually gonna start and we're gonna start with daddy or divide. We're gonna estimate what number can work without going over. You're gonna see this is similar to what we did with the area model. So we're going to be, un we're gonna underline the dividend when we do this. This one's gonna be a little different. We're going, once we do that, we're gonna write the number on top of the correct digit. So this is a really important step. This is where when I see people make mistakes, this is where most people really make their big mistakes. So I'm gonna put a star there to warn you to be really careful with that. So after you did D, daddy, you're gonna move on to mommy, which is multiply, and you, so you're gonna multiply and write the answer below. Okay, so after you do daddy and mommy, then you're at sister, which just means you're gonna want to subtract. And then after daddy, mommy, sister, you're gonna be at brother, which means you're gonna bring down. You're gonna use an arrow 
to bring down one digit. Sometimes people think they get to bring down more than one. You're going to bring down one digit. And then you're going to continue until each digit of the dividend has a number on top of it. So I'll explain what that kind of looks like when I solve one. Okay, so that's a lot of steps. Okay, hopefully when you see it, it makes more sense than that looks. Okay, so here's our first problem. Okay, so I'm going to add my division sign. So this one they already gave me with my division sign. So pretty much all I would have to do is I would, I'm just going to reset it up in my own writing. Because a lot of times when they give it to you, it's written too small. So I'm going to set it up in my own writing. Okay, now step one says set up your problem, and mine is set up correctly. Step two says I'm going to write, I'm sorry, step one, I, the dividends inside, the divisors out. Step two says I'm going to write daddy, mommy, sister, brother. So when I write daddy, mommy, sister, brother, it's just going to be kind of my checkoff list to keep me on track and help me. Okay, so now that I have that, it says I'm at daddy or divide. So I'm at daddy or divide. So I think to myself, can six fit into one? Nope. Can six fit into two? Yes. Six can fit into two, two times. Actually, perfectly. So six fits into two perfectly. So I know that, and now it says write the number on top of the correct digit. Well, I have to put it on top of the 12. So the two has to go there. If I had put the it on top of the one, that would say that six fits into one two times. And that's incorrect. Six doesn't fit into one at all. So it was really important that you put it on six can fit into 12 two times. Okay, so that was my daddy. I just did daddy. Now I'm going to do my mommy, which is I'm going to multiply. So I'm going to say two times six is 12. That's my mommy. Okay, now I'm at my sister, which is subtract. So 12, take away 12 is zero. Okay, now I'm at, I just subtracted. Now I'm, see I'm at my B for brother, which means I'm going to bring down one digit using an arrow. Okay. Now here's the thing, when I go to step seven, it says continue until each dividend has a number on top. So I have to keep going back to daddy, mommy, sister, brother. I'm not done. So let's go back. I already did those. Let's go back to my divide part. So now I'm back to division again. So can six fit into zero? No. Can six fit into three? No. Six fits into three zero times. That's my division. Okay, now I'm at my M for multiplication. Zero times six is zero. That was my multiplication. Now I'm at my subtraction. Three take away zero is three. I just subtracted, now I'm at bring down. I'm going to bring down one digit with an arrow. Okay, I can't stop because I still have part of my dividends not done. So I have to keep going. Can six fit into three? No. Can six fit into 36? Yes. Six can fit into 36 six times. So I just did division. Six times six is 36. I just did mommy multiplication. I'm at subtraction. And then I go to bring down. There's nothing else to bring down. And, and each digit, the front one doesn't matter. It's the back one. So my digits have a digit on top of them. So that means I'm done. So my answer is 206. Okay. So very different than the area model. Okay, notice how this really helped me. It keeps me on track, okay? Let's try another one. Okay, 
So my steps are right there. You have your steps right there to help you as well. Okay. Um, so my first, I'm sorry, my second one looks like this. So this time they didn't set it up for me. So I need to set it up, which means I need to make my division sign. I need to put my dividend inside and my divisor outside. Okay, then I'm going to write daddy, mommy, sister, brother. Daddy, mommy, sister, brother. That's gonna kind of be my, remember my little check off list to keep me on track. The steps then are just following daddy, mommy, sister, brother. So I'm actually just gonna use this to help me. So I'm at daddy, which is divide. Can eight fit into four? No. Can eight fit into 46? Yes. And this is my basic facts. So eight times five is 40. So now here's the important part. If I put the five on top of the four, that says eight fits into four five times. That's not true. Eight fits into 46 five times. So the five has to be right there. So I just divided. Now I'm gonna multiply. Five times eight is 40. I just multiplied. Now I'm gonna subtract. So I get six. Now I'm going to bring down one digit with an arrow. And now I can start over. Can eight fit into six? No. Can eight fit into 64? Yes. Eight can fit into 64 eight times. So I just divided. Now I'm gonna multiply. Eight times eight is 64. Just multiply. So now I'm gonna subtract and I get zero. And then I'm gonna bring down. And I'm not done because this digit has nothing on top of it. So I keep going. And I'm back to D for daddy. Can eight fit into eight? Yes, one time. And I'm back to multiplication. One times eight is eight. Now I'm at subtract, I get zero. Now I'm at bring down. There's nothing to bring down, plus I have this last digit has a digit on top of it, which means I'm done. Okay, so let's try some. All right, let's see. Sorry, I have a lot of papers here in this stack. All right, let's try our first one. Okay, step one says I'm going to set it up correctly with the divisor outside and the dividend inside. I'm gonna make it a little bigger. Step two says I'm gonna write daddy, mommy, sister, brother. It's gonna help me kind of stay on track. And then I just start with daddy for division. Can four fit into two? Nope. Can four fit into 22? Yes. Four can fit into 22 five times. And notice where am I putting the five? right there to say four fits into 22 five times. If we put it there, it would say four fits into two five times, which isn't true. So I divided. So now I'm gonna multiply and I get five times four is 20. So I multiplied. Now we're gonna subtract and we get two. And now I'm going to bring down one digit with an arrow. Okay. Now I have to keep going, so I go back to my division. Can four fit into two? No, what about 24? Yes, four fits into 24 six times. Notice how you have to keep really careful with where you put your numbers. So now I divide it, now I multiply. Six times four is 24. Now I subtract, and now I bring down. And now I have to keep going because this doesn't have a digit on top. So can four fit into eight? Yes, two times. So I just did daddy division. Now I'm gonna multiply. Two times four is eight. So I multiply. Now I subtract. And now I go to bring down and there's nothing. And my last digit has a digit on top of it, which means I am done. Okay, my next one is missing the symbol, so if you could add it in there for me. Okay, again, I like to rewrite mine even when they give it to me correctly because it's easier when it's somehow in my own writing. So step one is done. Step two is write daddy, mommy, sister, brother. And then step three is you divide, so you start. K 
can fourth it into one? Yes, one time. So I just divided. And notice I put it right there because four fits into five one time. Now I'm going to multiply. One times four is four. Now I'm going to subtract and I get one. Now I'm going to bring down the eight. And I'm going to go back and start over. So can four fit into one? No. How about 18? Yes, four fits into 18 four times. So I'm going to put the four carefully there. I just divided. Now I'm going to multiply. Four times four is 16. Now I'm going to subtract and I get two. Now I'm going to bring down and I get 28. And I go back to the beginning. Can four fit into two? No. Four can fit into 28 seven times. So I divided. I'm going to multiply. Seven times four is 28 and I get a zero. Okay, this is a trick. Sorry, I subtracted. Because some people think they're gonna stop here because they got a zero. That's actually the wrong answer. Because notice this zero has nothing on top of it. So you have to keep going. And I stopped at subtraction. I'm at bring down and there's still something to bring down. So I just brought it down and I actually have to keep dividing because this digit doesn't have something on top of it. So can four fit into zero? No. What about zero? No. It fits in zero times. So I divided and when I multiply, obviously I'm going to get zero and when I subtract, I'm going to get zero. But if